Hello world, human sustainability here. Uh, out on the property and I've been doing some thinking since the last time I was out here. Last time I was out here, as I was packing up to the south of where I am, where my I sleep, um, I heard something. I didn't really see anything that I could have like videotaped, but the shadow and the height and the speed tells me it was a moose. You know, once is cool, twice is, you know, what is that? Uh, once is coinc uh, happenstance, twice is coincidence, three times is enemy action. Well, twice. So I've been thinking on that. I don't want to uh, be in the way of the animals. I want to live alongside them. So if I'm on a trail there, um, you know, I want to, I want to know. So I've, I thought about it and there's um, an easy way to find out when I'm not around. Not sure if you can see that, but trail cam pointed out toward where I drive in. And then you recall I talked about this open area and let's talk about this open area here. So right up here, crazy S pine. It's a little late. Sun's been sun's gone down, so it's a little late. But right past Crazy S Pine is this kind of open area. And I'm not sure how much of that is gonna show up on the video this dark. Probably not enough. Uh, but I got another camera here pointing up that way because behind me to the untrained eye. There seems to be a path that goes that away into the woods, which is just to the <clears throat> to the east of low area over there. So they may be using this, which is why I didn't come in here to begin with and set up there. <sighs> Mosquito right in the mouth. Um, I did consider making this a parking lot, but I mean they'll. You can walk around trucks and stuff, right? Um, and also, just to find out if they are walking through this open area. Now, keep in mind, an open area is like a trail, right? I mean, animals aren't stupid. They see an easy place to walk, they're going to take it. Um, so if that's the case, um, I did not see a game trail. What I'm on right now, this is a game trail. Um, no doubt about it, when the snow is on the ground, there's a big stag that comes through here, occasionally a moose. Um, but this area, since I've opened it up, is, I mean, you know, path of least resistance. So I put another one right over here. Put another trail cam right there. So instead of a chainsaw, I got th these three trail cams, actually cheaper because uh, the models I got, uh, what are these? These are Browning, oh, uh, what the heck are they? Jeez, I can't even remember. It was kind of an impulse buy, um, but they're normally like 129 bucks and I got them for 84 bucks. So I thought, oh, all right, fine. So I did that, three SD cards, well, six SD cards, replacements, a card reader for my phone, so I don't have to, you know, I can check them, check the, did I see anything use, uh, worthwhile? Um, if I did, I can download it. Um, if there's too much, um, the memory cards I got were 32 gig. My phone could probably dump all three of them pretty easily. I got the memory in it. Uh, but yeah, um, I got three additional cards so that I can, you know, just take the card, the old card with me and replace it with a new card um, in the future if I need to. So, yeah, uh, got in here. I'm set up. Uh, the watch said it was 85 on my wrist and sitting here in the shade, it's 72. So 72, it's cooled off a little bit. Um, it's the middle of July. I do have my rifle with me. I don't expect anything um, until like August, anything meaning bear until August. Uh, 
Um, not really overly concerned about the moose. They're, they're very docile, very gentle animals for the most part. Uh, about the only time they'll go crazy is if you surprise them or, you know, you're messing with babies, right? So, um, since I'm not going to do either one of those and they would walk in here, uh, I'm not really afraid of the moose other than if they are pissed off, I'm pretty well buggered because even with the rifle, I mean, I doubt, even point blank range, I doubt, uh, I'd be able to drop a big bull if he decided, you know, if there was a bull right there, you know, 30 meters away, I could get maybe 10 into it before it got to me, but even if it was dead when it got to me, just its weight and momentum would crush me. So, um, yeah, I, the bear is the thing that I'm actually worried about. Uh, and like I said, August, September time frame is when they are, they get really active. Uh, so middle of July, I got the rifle out. Um, mosquitoes are freaking crazy. Last time I was out here, they weren't so bad. It was the flies that was the problem. Um, and I got fly paper. I got some fly paper and I strung some fly paper up. Uh, but this time out, boy, mosquitoes are just crazy. So those mosquito dunks that I was using, that I put in the water down there and in the water along that, that northern edge there, uh, I think they knocked them down real good and now they're back in force. So I got some dunks in the truck uh, Tomorrow I'll put more dunks in and you know in in the water uh, but what I've noticed is very dry this year um, The areas over in there the water is usually much higher. I haven't even looked out here yet uh, this trip out the, the path to the promised land <laughs> Uh, but this year it seems to have been um, unseasonably dry. So let's take a look and see where this water is. Let's see here. Oh, holy smokes. Okay, so you really can't see it. From your perspective, it's too dark and the water's too low, but it's very low. Uh, I think I could eat, almost walk through there with just my boots without the mutters. Um, so, not this weekend, but uh, getting up to the lake or at least across to that to the other area and kind of walk around, show you guys what I see over there. Um, that's on the list of things to do. Oh, the ever-growing list, right? But, you know, as preppers, we gotta, I mean, you can only do one thing at a time. You gotta worry about budget. You gotta worry about need. Um, like I said, I, I heard an animal right back in there, right that way, and walked that way. And I mean toward the water that's marshy over there if you go that way about uh, 75 yards you're you know three feet of muck uh, Moose don't care about that. They just go walk right through it So pretty sure it was a moose, you know bears would have been shorter and the shadow was much taller. So uh, Yeah <sighs> Plans for this time around let's find out if I get any of it done um you know, playing around with the trail cams, I've got them on right now, and I'll be walking around in in those field of views to see what they capture and what they don't. I saw that the one that's right down there captured as I was walking that way, so we'll see how that turns out, what it looks like. I'll take a look at it tomorrow on my phone. Um, like I said, I got a reader for them for the phone. Um, and brush hogging. So always, always stuff to brush hog. Now I am going to proceed as if this is not an area for animals that, that want to walk through here. And maybe it was just curious or maybe, you know, walking along kind of heard me because I was packing the gear out. So I was making noise, right? So uh, you know, moose is curious just the way a cow is curious. Um, might have just come down and said, hey, what, what's going on over there? Let's go find out. Is that a friend or foe? Uh, came down here and I heard him moving around. 
back in there. Um, so I, I think, you know, I think it was curiosity, but it got me to thinking. Uh, so I'm going to have the trail cams out here. Uh, the one facing out, yeah, I mean, to capture anybody, that, uh, any human that comes in here, certainly. But, I mean, they would obviously be able to see it. I do not have any locks on these things. Uh, but anybody with half a brain can, you know, just steal the SD card and go. So, um, I'm going to have to get a little bit more uh, sneaky and sly about um, anything that has to do with those uh, I might just do the the one two three on them um, if you don't know what the one two three is you put one in plain sight that has the perfect angle uh, you put one that watches that one you put one that watches both of those so um, you know you got a, a triple redundancy uh, you know what what's the rule uh, two is one one is none well if two is one three is two so um, you know, being able to, to have some sort of record of somebody messing with your property, on your property, uh, illegally, and, you know, getting it on video, and, yeah, um, that would be reported by me. So, uh, that's the way of the world. Um, I don't expect it. I mean, I'm up in the, the upper Midwest, so, um, yeah, you know... <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I were to drive out to the to the dirt road or even the, the hard top and the, go to the first house, I could just go and just walk in the house. Uh, people don't lock their doors because, uh, you know, we're neighbors up here uh, for the most part. Now, um, people see me back in here, they think city it, so, you know, they, they uh, um, are cautious. Uh, I'll put it that way. They're cautious. Uh, but everybody else that lives up here, they've lived with each other for years, so they know each other. Uh, no need to really lock doors in, in that way, unless you're in an urban area, right? Uh, and even in an urban area, um, you know, I don't know what the phenomenon is, but, uh, you, you know, a lock keeps an honest man honest. And, you know, that's about it. So... Um, anybody that comes up to your house and knocks on the door, um, that's an honest person, right? And if he tries the door, might come in, might not. Um, if it's a neighbor, hey, you know, come in. Hey, Billy Bob, are you okay? Kind of thing. Um, it's not a malicious, I'm going to go steal all your stuff kind of thing. So uh, that's just the way it is up here in the upper Midwest. I probably shouldn't have that attitude, but... Uh, um, you know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So I'm going to do as the Romans do, and I'm just going to trust that uh, my trail cams are for a game, and I'm not going to have people that take things. Now, if they come up missing or SD cards come up missing, uh, that is a completely different um, can of worms, and that can of worms will be addressed in kind. So um, having said all that, Thanks for watching. Eat more fruit. Oh, uh, before I leave, like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, it helps out. Um, tell me, tell me what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Uh, stuff that you've learned, stuff that uh, you know, suggestions. And uh, by suggestions, look, I got a lot of comments on my my inch bag video. I you know, I put together an inch bag video, and half the comments were. You didn't show any guns. Well, folks, guns are part of my EDC. <laughs> they're, not, they're not part of the bag. They're not, I'm not going to have a gun in the bag. The gun is going to be on the hip and on the shoulder uh, because I'm not going to waste time trying to figure out how do I get the thing out of the bag. If I need it, I'm going to have it right there. Uh, so, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, eat more fruit.